Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Sam the Electrician here talking about Western Independence and Alberta separation. I just wanted to go over the results of the Conservative Party of Canada leadership uh, race that was concluded this weekend. And uh, as I predicted last week, Aaron O'Toole has become the leader. So it's a nice little I told you so moment uh, to some of the people that doubted my prediction abilities. Uh, so I'm one for one. I had a feeling that he was going to win just because the way things were going in the party. Maxime Bernier, the leader of the PPC party, put out a very interesting statement today. I highly suggest you go give it a read. I will try to uh, get a link to it in the description below. I will read a few highlights from Mr. Bernier's statement. Um, Mr. Bernier, I think, hits the nail on the head on a lot of these points. Uh, it's lengthy, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can go read it for yourself. So he basically says, Erno Toole said early in his leadership campaign that Peter McKay would turn the Conservative Party into the Liberal Light Party if he wins. He was right. What O'Toole did not say is that he, as leader, will do the same. They are like peas in a pod. They are both establishment, centrist, globalist, red Tories. Which is what I was saying in my video last week. I agree with that assessment of both of those gentlemen. The party membership, it's hard to blame them. They want to win. If they go too far to the right, then... The Conservative Party will never get elected into Ottawa again. They are trying to walk that tightrope and get more of the lefties on board with our ideas. And that's fine for them. Uh, it doesn't work for us out here in the West. doesn't work for the Separatists or the Libertarians. But I guess they had to do... They had to vote. Everybody had to vote how they felt they had to vote. That's democracy in action. So now that that's over we can uh, move forward and we'll see what the election strategies are going to be. Um, Mr. Bernier goes on to say, the vast majority of conservatives want an end to the mass immigration policy of the liberals. It won't happen under O'Toole. He and the party's establishment support mass immigration and official multiculturalism. Uh, the vast majority of conservatives don't believe in climate alarmism. We want an end to costly and inefficient green policies policies that have proven disastrous for Canada's energy sector. He goes on to say O'Toole will ignore them and instead court center-left liberal voters. He still wants to reach the unattainable Paris Accord targets and he says climate change requires global solutions. So he goes on to say he'll replace the carbon tax with different named taxes. Um... I agree, you know, oh, here's Aaron O'Toole is a globalist, like the rest of Ottawa's globalist establishment. As conservative critic for foreign affairs, he said last year, last year, he wanted to restore ties with Saudi Arabia by focusing on improving commercial ties and by offering more aid, development, and refugee support in the Gulf region. Can you spot the difference between him and Justin Trudeau? That's the kind of foreign policy you expect from the Liberals. You can be sure nothing will change under his leadership. He won't use Article 92, bracket 10 of the Constitution to ensure we build pipelines. He won't touch equalization. He won't repeal Bill C-16 that imposes a radical trans agenda on Canadians. He won't do anything to restore and protect our freedom of speech. On every major issue, the Conservative Party under Aaron O'Toole will be just like the Liberals. So... Well, that's where Bernier stands, and I tend to agree with most of that. Um, the membership has spoken, and we'll see what happens with the budget coming down, um, Christian Freeland's budget. I noticed that she's getting some flack in the press for being absolutely, uh, completely not qualified to be a finance minister. Like I was saying in my video last week, uh, the CBC is already going to bat for her, saying that she's going to fix the economy and she's a capitalist and has all these ideals about uh, 
equality and and then in the same sentence they use words like uh, wealth redistribution <laughs> so it's double speak from uh, our communist friends over at the cbc uh, i don't care if don pittis uh, was a ranger and a forest firefighter he's uh, fully on board with what the liberals are doing uh, moving our country further and further towards socialism and communism light and uh you know you you can see through it in a second the the pandering and the you know they're carrying water for the liberals every day every every article they write um i only read the cbc to give me fodder for my own videos and so you people don't have to because it's sickening um you know the sycophantic uh you know the emperor has no clothes syndrome that the cbc has so um yeah so update video for monday my prediction was correct Aaron O'Toole won and it'll be interesting to see if he can do anything uh, in the next federal election uh, to defeat Trudeau and the Liberals. Take it easy.